What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video. Normally I don't go out and sell consoles. That'll make Bud laugh. <laughs> sure. But I went out and sold my PS3 and a couple of the games. And it got me enough to get two brand new games that came out. I think one came out this week, one came out last Friday. And I wanted to pick them up. That's my main thing. I'm not even playing my PS3 anymore. Uh, I'm keeping the PS4. One of these games happened to be a PS4 game. And I just recently bought the Empires game. So, what two games is it? Are they? Is, are they? Yeah, two. Um, we're going to go in order here. Uh, Output order. Let's just do that. Dragon Ball's... There's no Z in there. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Zexnoverse. Xeno... Zexiverse? Ze whatever. Uh, produced by Bandai Ga Bandai Namco, so that's pretty good. Um, it's day one edition. The the guy gave me a pre order copy. Thanks, you know, uh, because you know after four or after two days, if you don't come up and pick your cop pick up your copy, someone can just grab that. It comes with Super Saiyan Four Vegeta and two Frieza Soldier Battle Suits DLC packs. That's pretty. Cool, I guess. I mean, you couldn't get Vegeta in the first place. Now, the first thing I saw back here uh, were some creative characters. Anyone know anything about Majin Buu? Because I think that is a Buu race. That is awesome. You get to make a Buu race. <laughs> I hope you can have more than one character made. You can make your own Majin Buu character. Unless that's like a girl boo. I don't care. Alright, time to start. Train with the best. Let legendary characters like Goku teach you their skills. Create your own character. 450 plus customize, customization items for online and offline adventures. New enemies and advanced foes. Never before seen adversaries and more powerful villainous forms await. So like, Frieza back here. Looks even more powerful. I guess he has another form. I guess. <sighs> Multi ways to fight. Battle one on one. Three on three. Team versus battles. Or team co op. Discover Toki Toki City. Join 200 plus other players around the world. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, T for Teen. Cartoon Violence. I forgot. I have to do it like this now. To where y'all could look at the. I know there's my lights right there. I'll do it like cartoon violence, mild blood, mild language, mild suggested themes. It's DBZ. DBZ, mild suggested themes? Really? Yeah, really. Alright, time to open it. I meant to have my Nintendo going in the background, make it seem like. I mean, y'all wouldn't be able to see it. Yeah, I have the original Nintendo. I shared that off in one of my videos. And if y'all don't like the lighting here, I can't do nothing about that. I had to get a bigger trash can in my room because the little one wasn't doing it. And this one I've had for a week, two weeks or something. I haven't even had to change the trash bag yet. It's not even full. Pull these off. I'm actually looking forward to this game because I've seen slight reviews of it. Okay, this is the DLC card, which I could show you all the card. That's the DLC card to it, because the code's on the back. Because you ain't seeing that. That's mine. And the game disc. Just go cool from the front. Uh, you can make a Saiyan. I'm guessing from what it looks like. You can make a Saiyan, Namekian, Human, and Majin Buu character. Now, if you can make a Buu character, why can't you make someone that looks like Frieza? You gonna leave that out? Come on. You know, because there's at least three. There's Cooler, Frieza, on well, four, if you watch the Bardock, the second Bardock movie. But that's Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um, I'm probably going to play this one first, just because I'm a DBZ fan, and I've loved DBZ since I was a kid. All right, the second one is a game I was skeptical about because all the reviews are like, oh, the game's too short, oh, there's quick time events and stuff like that. I'm okay with quick time events, just not like excessive, which they said this one has. 
But it's a game that just came out a couple days ago. This one doesn't have a secret thing go. But uh, it is The Order 1886. Now, originally I was going to buy this day of, but I went ahead and got Dynasty Warriors instead because I'm more of a Dynasty Warriors person than a new IP person. But I've, I've been seeing gameplay of the footage of it and everything, and I'm like, okay, this game looks pretty good. So, uh, ready at dawn. It deals with werewolves, by the way. Crazy, ambitious, and highly cinematic. Discover history's darkest secret. The Order 1886 introduces players to a unique vision of Victorian era London where a man uses advanced technology to battle a powerful and ancient foe. As Galahad, a member of the elite order of the Knight of Knights, joins a century old war that determines the, the course of history forever. That's pretty much it. It doesn't give me anything else. Uh, the game looks pretty damn good. I've seen, I've seen reviews and stuff like that. 1080p, I think that's what it. Minim, that's the only thing. Yeah, 1080p looks awesome. I mean, like one of the best I've seen for consoles so far. And I said something. It does look like a movie, you know. But you know, maybe not. That I just ripped it open with my finger, didn't I? Nope. Okay. Uh, one player. There's. There's no online play, huh? You would think there would be, so then the other players control all of my. Uh, minimum 50 gigabytes. Thank God I got rid of a PS4 game. <laughs> yeah, I got rid of one of those two. I got rid of uh, Dynasty Wars Extreme Legends. No point of having both. Just, just being honest. Uh, DualShock 4, uh, 1080p, and Remote Play for PS4. I don't understand that, but okay. Ready to end for blood and gore, intense violence, nudity, sexual content, and strong language. And no, this is not day one stuff. I... If it is, I'd be surprised. Like, if there's a DLC code for uh, something in it, I will laugh my ass off. Because that doesn't that happens to me pretty often when I get a game, like, within a week of its release. They give me the uh, pre-order copies. I don't know if this is just in, like, hey, we have pre-order copy here, you go. Uh, no. Is that Peyton Panty Ear? Panty, Panty Ear? Panty Ear, I think. That looks like her. The game disc upside down again. There's the game disc, and there's what I was talking about. Uh, I think that is her. Hidden Panettiere. I think that's her name. Until Dawn. Ready at Dawn, and then there's an advertisement for Until Dawn. Is that a sequel or something? I doubt that. Oh, I never, I never did show everything about this. You get to customize your clothes, your race. You know, but they say if you put a certain hairstyle, you can't change it, which is understandable. As long as they don't have unlockable ones, that is stupid. Well, how are you going? Hey, Toby. Sorry. Butt's right in the shot. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Unbox these two hopefully awesome games. I've heard this one's pretty good. This one, I've heard is short, but i played short games. Uh, Modern Warfare... Two, I beat. I can beat that within like four to five hours. You know, just playing straight through. Uh, it's still a good game. So, if it's not, then I just, you know, got rid of a bunch of games to get a game that I'm that I don't like. But I'm sure I'll like it. And if it has multiple play options to it, then meaning you can go through and do it all over again and be fine with it, I'll be okay with it then. So uh, thank y'all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go play some games. Peace.